I've just come back from overseas and I've been teaching multiplication tables literally in a few minutes. Imagine if you could just do all your times table, your six times table, seven times table, eight and nine, literally in a few minutes. As you know, we all spent like a year at school, in primary school, to learn by rote like a robot, our, four, our three times table and four times table. And in fact, a lot of us didn't even get it. We just shut down and hated numbers. But imagine if there was just like another way, a more fun way, how to learn in a year of timetables, literally in two minutes. So I'm just going to show you. It's called Magic Fingers. It does have another name called Handy Maths because we're going to do this on our hands. But also, interestingly, is that we're doing it on our digits, which is the origin of the word for number. The word digit meant finger in Latin. So the teacher said to you, what's eight times seven? So what we're going to do is we're going to give each finger six a number. We're going to give this finger the number six, seven, eight and nine. And we have to do that with the other finger. We're going to give this finger a number six, seven, eight, nine. In the classes I've just done overseas, normally we would actually write, we would used to get a texter, but some of the textures are toxic, so we won't use these toxic chemical pencils, but you would write six, seven, eight, nine on the pad of your finger. But we don't need to write 10 because we all know our 10 times table. This is about learning our six times, seven times, eight times and nine times table. So when the teacher says, Billy, what's eight times seven? What we need to do is we look at the left hand and we say, where's the eight? So we go six, seven, eight. We go six, seven, eight. So there's the eight and you give it a little wriggle. And then on the other hand, we say, where's the seven? So we go six, seven, and we give that a wriggle. Now that we've identified the eight and the seven, we just join them. I'm actually looking at the answer now. I'm looking at the palm of my hands here. I can see the answer in one second because it's just a pattern. The solution is to say that everything that is joined and below is worth 10 points. That means this finger and that finger joined and all the ones below are worth 10 points and there's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. So that's worth 50 points. We've already got our answer. Eight times seven is 50 something. The other part of the answer is got to do with the excesses. Look, we've got two that remains here and we have three that remains here. These are excesses. So the logical question is, do we add the two and the three or do we multiply the two and the three? We know, we already know what the answer is, 8 times 7, but we know that we're going to have to multiply 2 times 3 is 6. So we tag on the 6 to the 50 and we get 56. So 8 times 7. So straight away in one second we go 8 times 7 is, there's the 8, 7, 50 here and 6 above, 56. How's that? Just in like one minute you literally have compressed a whole year of rigorous rote learning times table literally into something that's visual and tactile and fun.